Hi guys and welcome to Paul's DIY. I've had a video request to do a video tutorial on how to do a custom cape for a Batman figure. Now these steps that I'm going to show you can be used for any superhero figure that has a cape. Now the last time I did a custom cape was for this big guy here, which was my uh, Superman uh, custom. And as you can see, I folded the cape under the material suit I did for this custom. Now, there are different ways you can do a custom cape for figurines. Um, the last time I did a Batman custom cape for a custom uh, figurine was the Batman v Superman uh, 30 inch uh, figurine. That was a little different because the outline of the cowl actually had a it didn't really separate but it had a, defin a definitive line that you could just glue the cape to and then once it was glued it folded back. Now this is, the, I don't unfortunately I don't have one of those figures at the moment but this one as you can see doesn't have a cow outline it's just solid. Now what I would usually do is do a material suit for this uh, like I've done in the past for this one for instance and again the cape is hidden by the collar, and if it didn't have a collar, it just fold under the material suit, as you can see there. So this is just going to be a basic um, Batman cape tutorial. I'm going to show you how, how to first cut out the, the design for the cape, and then how to glue it onto the figure and fold it back and pin it into place, just so it all drops nicely and sits okay. So, uh, Ricky V, thanks again for the video request. I'm gonna have so much fun doing this. And guys, if you if you have any video requests for custom figurines or any tutorials on how to do custom suits for your figures, I've done a few of them in uh, now. I used to sew them together, and then when I did this big guy, I decided to use glue and I glued it into place, um, which worked out really well because you can stretch the material as much as you need to bring out the definition on the figurine. So guys, let's get to it. Okay, so the first step is to pick the material you want to use. With this being Batman, I've obviously gone for the black material and I'm actually using some black leverette that has a nice pattern and design. And it's also black on the other side so that when you put it on the figure, it's black on both sides and one side is a dull almost gr a dark grey and then the side I'm going to be using that will be the the outside of the cape is not so much shiny but it's a lot better finish so once you've picked the material you want the next step is to cut out the sorry not cut out is to tape around the neckline of the figure using masking tape or any tape you've got to hand. I don't actually have some masking tape, I'm going to be using some silver tape. And then once you've done that, take the masking tape off and place it onto some card. So it's all right me talking about it, but let's do that first step. Okay, so as I mentioned, we are going to be taping around the neckline of the figurine and as I mentioned before, if it had, if the cowl was one piece and came around, you, that would make it a lot easier. But with this one, it doesn't. So what we're going to be doing is following his clavicle around there and around the back, over his shoulders and around the back. And that is going to be the template for the neckline when you transfer it onto the material. Okay, so as I mentioned, if, you ha if you're using the uh, Batman v Superman uh, figure, there is a, a line you can just follow all the way around and you'll get it even on both sides. Now, because this doesn't, I'm only going to do one half with the tape, peel it off, put it onto the card, and then draw around that, 
cut it, cut out that half, fold it over and that way I'll get it even on both sides. Now you want to try and take this off in one piece so you want to make sure that you've You've got it, you've stuck it down as much as you can, so each piece of tape, whichever tape you're using, masking tape or whatever tape, is stuck well to each other, so that when you peel it off, it all comes off in one go. Okay, so just so I don't forget which is which, I'm going to put front back and that way I know that's the back and that's the front so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw make sure, sorry, make sure it's stuck down really well so I'm going to draw around the inside of where you stuck down the tape and then get a ruler Draw down the middle and then cut it out. Okay, so once you've cut out the inside of, of uh, the, the template. Next one you do is you want to try and get rid of all this excess you don't need. You don't need all this excess. So the next step is just to put around. You've got to remember the inside of this is the template. So it doesn't matter about anything on the other side. But we're just going to make it more manageable to place onto the material and use. Okay, so the next step is to fold it over and then draw around it once again. Now I've actually I've actually made a mistake and I've cut through that one. I really should have cut through the front, but it doesn't matter because I can easily just take that back up. So next we're going to cut out the other side. And as long as you follow the line, both sides should be identical. And then we're just going to get rid of all this excess we don't need. Remembering that that's the front and that's the back. So we'll get some tape and take that back back up. and then we'll cut the front open. Just make that even. Okay, so now if we take the figure and place that over his head, you see we have the template now complete to place on the material. One of the ways you can make sure that they're even is to fold it back over as you can see, I'm slightly off, but you can always test and adjust to make sure that both sides are identical. Okay guys, that's the template now complete. Now, depending on which kind of cape you want to do, you can leave it as, as is. If you want the cape to meet in the middle, like it is at the moment, leave it as is. But I'm gonna have the cape coming about here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim that back where I want it. So I want, I want the cape to come around his neck and probably meet whereabouts the, old, the original cape holes are. Just pass that to cover them up and then it'll drape over his shoulder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it on the figure, pick where I want and then cut it, fold it back over and transfer that onto the other side. Okay, to do that one point to know is if you're going to if your cape isn't going to meet in the middle what you want to do is fold your template over and make it identical all the way around trim it around so it's identical on both sides 
that way when you trim one side and fold it over you can and cut it on the other side they'll both be identical okay so what we're going to do is we're going to place it on the figurine and pick where we want it so the best play, way to do this is to stick the diagram down I'm going to stick it down there and stick it down at the front. So there you go, now that it's taped in place you can pick where you want the cape to finish. Okay, so I want the cake to finish just past the existing holes. I don't think you can see that, but I know where I want it. So I want the cape to finish just about there. So now I'm going to take this off, cut it and copy it over. Okay, so now I'm going to cut it, fold it and then copy it and cut it on the other side so it's identical. There you go, get rid of that, put that back on, and there you go. That's your template now complete, ready to transfer onto the material. Okay guys, so I'm having to go uh, handheld here because I need to go as high as possible so you can see all the material. So before you transfer the template onto the material, you want to check the length because the, the worst thing you can do, and I've done it myself in the past, is draw the uh, transfer the template onto the material, cut it all out and find out that when the cape drops, it only drops to his knees. So you want to place your figure on the material, like so, and what I usually do is I put it to the end where the cape will drop on his feet and then pull it back slightly just to give yourself a bit of extra in case anything goes wrong. So the way you want to transfer it onto the material, if you're using black material, uh, use white chalk. I've actually run out of chalk, run out of masking tape, run out of chalk. I need to replen all my materials. So I'm actually going to use uh, my snooker cue chalk. So, as I mentioned, make sure you've got a bit of excess on the back for any trimming, any reshaping as well because we're going to be doing a more or less a three quarters of a circle and then place the, the template roughly where the neckline is and then start tracing. Okay, so I've had to fold the material over so I can get it in frame. So I've gone ahead and chalked the neckline. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come out and angle here off camera with a long ruler. And as I did with the template, where I only did half and then folded it over and copied it, I'm going to do the same with the cape. So I'm going to come out. Uh, the same length, probably about 30 inches, the same length as the figure itself and then do a big massive uh, half circle, uh, well quarter circle and come round until you meet the middle of the neckline and then cut that out, fold it over and do the same on the, on the other side. So I'm just measuring the length of the figure from his shoulder down it rough, roughly measures roughly measure about 16 and a half inches from his shoulders to his feet so I'm going to give it 17 inches uh, so I'm going to be going out at an angle like so move this up so I'm going to be going out about 17 inches and then doing a quarter of a circle back to meet the middle of the neckline and remember that's his back that's where it sits on his back I'm going to cut that out and then fold it over 
trace it and cut it again. Okay guys, I know it's going to be hard to see because obviously it's black on black, but I've cut the 17 inch line down and I've cut the quarter circle around to meet in the middle. Now I'm going to cut out the neckline and then I'm going to fold it over and trace it on again and then cut it out. Okay guys, to recap, let's go through the steps we've gone through so far. So we had our figure, we took some tape and taped around one half of the figure around the clavicle and the neckline, around the back and finished between his spine. We then took that diagram, uh, took the tape off, put it onto some card and then drew around that and that gave us one half of the diagram. We then cut that out, folded it over, traced around it again, cut out the inside and then cut around the edges just to trim off the uh, template itself, which gave us the overall template for the cape. Now, as I mentioned, you can decide whether you want the cape to fit in the middle or to have it, well, basically have the cape finish where you want it to finish. The way we did that is we taped it at the back, taped it at the front, and then trimmed it to where we wanted the cape to uh, begin. We then took this template, placed it onto the material and using chalk, chalked around the inside of the template and then at an angle, whichever angle you want, um, I don't think there is a correct answer of what angle you want that to be at. Um, we measured it from the shoulder down to his feet, which was roughly about 16 and a half inches. Uh, I rounded it off to 17 and then uh, we cut that material at the 17 inches on that angle and then we cut a half, uh, cut, well, but we cut a quarter circle back round, back round to where it met with the back of the diagram. I hope I'm explaining this well enough. Uh, so that's where we're up to. I've cut the angle 17 inches. Also, we made sure as well, we placed the figure on the material to make sure it was long enough to, when it drops, it doesn't drop too short. And we also give it a little bit extra for trimming. So again, I hope I'm uh, explaining this well enough. Uh, that's where we're up to now. So now I'm gonna place the material on the floor and attempt to put the camera somewhere where you can see me cutting the material, folding it over, tracing around it and cutting it again. Okay, so as you can see, that's the back of the template, um, which goes around to the front of his shoulder. We've cut that 17 inch line, and then we've started to cut a quarter circle, and it's going to come round and then finish at the back. And then what we'll do, is once I've trimmed the bottom of that, we'll fold it over. and then trace round it and cut it out again. Okay, so that's the cape now cut out and just find the template. As you can see, that's the template there. So what we've done is we've placed a template on the material. We've gone at an angle at 17 inches and then come round into the circle so it meets back with the back of the template, the center of the template. And then we folded it over like so. Got it all to meet up and then cut round again. So now that both sides are equal. So the next step is to glue it onto the figurine. Okay, so I've dropped, I've draped the cape over the figurine and you can see there the neckline is almost perfect 
and if I show you the bottom you can see let's run this side you can see the cape does fold over a tiny bit and that's because we gave it sorry about the lighting the light. that's better. and that's because we gave it that extra couple of inches and that once the cape is glued on uh, we can trim that So we're going to try and get this even on both sides. Okay, so now that is glued into place. Now we're going to start to fold it back and pin it into place using some super glue again. So as I mentioned, you could fold it back like that, but because the material isn't the same on both sides, what I'm going to do, what I've done in the past, is you fold it inwards and over the shoulder. And you see those creases there, they form straight away. So it might take some uh, fiddling to get it into place you want, but once you've got the folds you want, it's you, all you have to do is glue it into place. Okay, so I finally got the two folds I want. I'll just spin this around if you can see. You see on there, one and two. And now what I'm going to do is glue them into place using a bit of super glue. Pinch that together, and that's held into place already, and then the same on this. Okay, that's one shoulder done, looking very, very nice, drooping very nicely over the shoulder, and we've got the two folds as well, and as I mentioned, just super glued them into place. So let's do the same on the other side. Okay guys, the cape is now glued into place. I'm happy with the folds. And as I mentioned, I've just folded it over and then put some super glue on the underside, glued it into place there, there. And then I've also glued it onto the shoulders so it doesn't fall forward. And I've glued it onto the shoulder there. In fact, you can see, see the glue. I just need to press that down, hold that into place. There you go. So the next step is to trim off the excess, which you can see there is quite a lot. So that's how it looks from the back. So the next step is just to trim the bottom. Okay guys, that's the cape now finished. I'm just gonna take you through a few points uh, that I've done. And as you can see, I've not done the cape fully to ground level, level with his feet. I've gone for more of a classic look where the cape sits, it doesn't sit on the floor and it actually has a bit of a gap between the bottom of the cape and the floor. I've also gone for a cascade effect where each fold is a different level as it moves up. 
I've done that on both sides and each fold I've run my finger down the edge to make it look crisp and then each one is glued into place using super glue moving up I've glued the cape to his arm moving up and I've glued it onto his shoulder as well this is just because this will be a display piece if you were going to be doing this on a figure that was going to get played with by kids or whatever I probably won't glue it as much as I had so that the cape is free to play with as a display model this just keeps the, the cape in place so again I've used super glue and glued each fold into place so it stays there doesn't doesn't unfold the reason I've glued it to his shoulder is so the cape doesn't fall uh, fall forward moving round each fold around the back that's the look from the back each fold is again glued into place just so it keeps its shape I have made I did make a mistake I actually glued it too far up on that side and you got a little crease that is just comes with practice and then moving around again really like how these folds came out again glued into place on each fold so they don't move moving around again glued onto his shoulder a little mistake there as you can see I got a bit of glue on the cape and moving down again I run my fingers down each fold to make them as crisp as possible I really do like this dark grey I was going to try and do it where you, you just see the black shiny bit shiny uh, side of the cape but I really do like the underside dark grey so guys that's the tutorial finished if you've got any questions please leave a comment below and if you've got any other suggestions for uh, other tutorials I can do for custom figures or any DIY projects any videos in particular please leave a message below and I will get back to you so guys I hope you enjoyed the tutorial you you would have noticed there's been subtitles on this video uh, Ricky B who suggested the video is actually Spanish so I've tried my best to do Spanish subtitles for him to help with the tutorial on each step so guys, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. We're slowly climbing up to 3,000 subscribers. Once we get there, I'll be doing a very special catapult fireworks display to celebrate the 3,000 subscriber mark. I've got it all planned out. I've got the diagrams. I've got the templates. I've got everything ready. I uh, just need to build it at the moment, but it will be built for when we hit 3,000 subscribers. I'm really enjoying uh, doing my projects at the moment. Uh, I know there's been a bit of a lull, but I've got a lot of big projects coming. I'm working on a lot of projects at, at once now. I used to just do one project at a time, and then once that was done, upload it. But I've been able to manage my time a bit better now, so I'm doing multiple projects at once. At once, I am going to start doing as well parts, part videos as well. Um, I do think it's going to be easier. That way I can work on different projects, get the videos up so you can see them and then go from there and that way I'm hoping I'll be able to do get more regular videos out as well. So guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please share as well. The more you share, the faster we'll get to 3,000 subscriber marks. Um, subscriber mark and then we can have that fantastic firework display. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.